my reaction video on the latest Chanel Cruise 2021 collection that came out in stores in boutiques now, you would know that I'm not a fan of most of the things that came out. However, I did say that I love some of the jewelry and some of the accessories. So if you saw that video, you might have an idea what I got. And we're gonna do a little bit of unboxing and trying on. And I also have a couple of new, very exciting accessories from Samorga to unbox as well. Hello, my name is Amy. And on this channel, we're all about making savvy and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Have you guys noticed that their shopping bags have changed it's no longer the glossy finish so it does look more cheaply made this bag has not even been used it actually just came like this because um, I got it delivered and it came in another box so this was not even used and it's already looking kind of ratty anyway I'm not gonna complain about this because the important thing is inside the box Okay, so how many of you did watch my reaction video on the collection? If you haven't already, I will link it up here. But like I said, still a few things that were worth looking at. And um, yeah, this is my first time getting this type of accessory. And uh, the box is really cute actually. It comes with this and a little dust bag to reveal such a big box for such a small item um yes it is a belt and it is actually the belt that i mentioned in my video that i wanted to get wow it's so pretty so yes it does come with a big cc brooch which is why i'm also wearing my big cc earrings they don't match but um both of them are pretty blingy so champagne gold hardware with big cc rhinestones and it is a belt made of calf skin the back and this is the front and this is the closure if we look at the back of the brooch there is these two hooks that uh, hooks onto the other end and that's how you close the belt i have um a few luxury belts that are just the adjustable ones with the you know the punched holes uh, so I have an LV one, I have an Hermes one, I have a Gucci one, and I don't have a Chanel one yet, which is the reason why I've been lasting for a Chanel one. Actually, I do have a Chanel belt, but it is vintage, and uh, it is very uh, heavy hardware, which is very different from something like this. This is super lightweight, and I think would be a little bit more comfortable. I did take it in a size 75. If I were to just measure this belt right now without expanding it, it's actually just 68 centimeters, which is my perfect measurement of my uh, natural waist. And I guess it can actually expand to up to 75, which is perfect if I wanted to wear it a little lower or if I'm wearing it over a thicker material. Aside from a vintage Chanel belt, uh, which is a chain belt. I don't really have a leather belt. So I'm super excited to add this to my collection. And I feel like it's, you know, it's, it's blingy, but it's actually thin enough to be, oh my gosh, just look at it. It's so good already. Uh, my idea of getting this is to cinch in any sort of uh, blazer jackets or dresses just because I don't really need a belt when I wear my jeans and my pants anyway. I actually don't find belts to be very comfortable to be very honest. I just prefer to wear my actual size pants. And so anytime I actually use a belt is more to accessorize and to make it look pretty. Okay, it's a little higher than my natural waist at the moment, but uh, I just wanted to show you in uh, this uh, frame oh it's so nice i'm so happy about it moving on to my next unboxing this is a brand new offering from samorga and i also want to thank samorga again for sponsoring this part of the video i love working with them they make the best quality items and the best accessories for your handbags so this item is their 24 centimeter mink handle wrap and it has magnetic closure. If you go on their website, which I'm gonna link down below, as well as my coupon code where you can save 20% off, uh, 
They also offer it in several different colors as well as they now have a smaller size as well. So this one is 24 centimeters. They also have one that is 19 centimeters, so a little shorter for your smaller handle bags. As you can see, there's a magnet here and a magnet on the side. So there are a total of three magnets, I believe. And all you need to do is just wrap it around and let the other magnet um, basically it closes so easy and this is how it looks like on my Chanel 19 and it's so super cute it basically winterized my Chanel 19 and actually makes it a lot warmer to hold in the winter oh my goodness it's so cute let me remove the let me take out the the larger strap to show you the whole look because I'm obsessed with it I'm obsessed. How cute is this? Oh my goodness. I love it. I wasn't thinking of using it on the trendy CC, but I just wanted to try it since I guess anytime you have a just kind of like a larger, longer handle, then it would work for the for this size. It's so cute. Don't you guys think? It's so, so super cute. Let's try it on these two bags. I think it would be really, really fun. It just transformed the whole look of my Coco handle. It's so darn cute. I'm just obsessed with the look. So I have the mini Coco handle and it fits perfectly. And it, like I said, it winterizes your bag and it doesn't feel weird to hold it at all. The magnets are, uh, you know, right there and it, it's a pretty good magnet. It's not too strong or anything, but it stays put and it makes your handle so much warmer to hold. And I actually dig this look more than an actual fur bag anyway. I prefer just having a little accent of fur, not the whole bag. All you need to do is wrap it around and then you can just go over the, the spot with the magnet. And voila. <laughs> this is awesome okay the next item came packaged like this wow this is so nice look at the size of this chunky chain this is their chunky chain strap in the 17 inch and it is 22 karat gold filled over aluminum so it's quite substantial because it's very chunky but because it's made of aluminum it's still kind of uh, reasonable like it's not super heavy to the point where you can't hold it but look at all this strap i believe it also comes in a black ruthenium and a darker silver if i'm not uh, mistaken but like i said i will link everything down below and yeah, it pretty much adds a whole other dimension. It makes the whole bag so like bling and in your face. I think because I chose it in the gold color, I'm just so attracted to gold in general. But uh, I feel like if you want it to be more muted, but still have, you know, something on it, you can go with their other two colors, which are a little bit more muted. Uh, but honestly, with this chunky chain, it's nothing muted about this this is how it looks like on my black gabrielle bag oh my gosh it's so extra not everyone's cup of tea but if you want a really chunky like i mean really chunky substantial really well-made gold filled chain this is this is something you can definitely consider. I'm actually gonna weigh it and then put it on the screen how much it weighs because it is quite substantial.
I think between these two items, I definitely prefer this handle because it goes on any bags and it looks so cute. And it's actually really comfortable. It doesn't make any noise or anything like that. Whereas this one is a little bit more noisy, but it's so well made. Like the gold filled on this item is just so extraordinary. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely very extra, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think of my belt. I love it, but that's just me. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back. So please don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!